Mickey Mantle, the guy with the mustache. He was one of our champions. And then James Hunt. <clears throat> won the title once. Sort of crashing, out of this, out of that. James Hunt. But he was one of the few rock and roll drivers. They had pictures after parties, drunk with models. Ah, and then, oh, we had sex, we had this, we had that. Next day, he's in front row with the races, winning races with every alcohol in the world. This is what Grand Prix, motor racing, with more rock and roll. No, this is PR high. Oh my god, you have to be a vegan, a vegetarian. Uh, training in the gym. Who oh, knew I don't drink? Shut the fuck up, you morons. You know they got four wheels. Four wheels, drive super fast and <laughs> very noisy. But, um, but apart from that, no, I don't know an um, awful lot about Grand Prix, but I know that my dad loves and it. Tell me about your gold fashion recently in the in the in the papers. Oh, I have a swimwear company, so um, it just launched its sixth collection. I have to think now. I'm like, six, and what about the gold version? Oh, they're, um, mm, they've all yummy. got kind of like a gold painting, yeah. like 18 karat gold painting. Just go there and there. Um, I have it made in Paris and then I have it heat dipped so it doesn't get hot. Because obviously, the swimwear, if you're in the, in the sun, it gets yeah, yeah, yeah. hot. Thank you so much. Nice to see you. Same thing, same. Bye bye, Kimberly. Rory Reed from Tokyo. How did I get it? Yeah. How did you start in motorsports? Um, I'm not in motorsport, but I'm a, I'm a car journalist. I'm an automotive journalist. So, um, I ran a YouTube channel mm -hmm. testing cars. Yeah. And then um, before that, I worked for a few, a few publications reviewing cars and technology. And I've always had a passion for cars. So 
um, I was doing basically what Top Gear is, but on a much smaller budget. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. And when the opportunity came to join the team, uh, Chris Evans um, put out a message saying, if you want to be on the team, send in a 30 second audition tape. Yeah. I did that along with about 10,000 other people. <laughs> and um, luckily I was one of the people they shortlisted to, uh, to come and do a screen test. Yeah. And I um, went into Dunsfold, which is where we filmed Top Gear, and they did some, uh, some track activity where to show that I could drive. Yes. And uh, some studio activity. Did you crunch well. a few gears? Um, wait, 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 I get it no, it was I get it right on the night. It was automatic, so no, that, <laughs> no danger of that. Um, but there was a little bit of drifting to show you could handle, handle a, a high-powered car while delivering lines. So. How can you drift in a front wheel car? I can drift in the back right wheel. I can do any donut. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. The front wheel's tricky. It's, it's, tricky. it's doable, but it's... Yeah, you got to go throw it in there on the power, <laughs> yeah, lift off the power, and then yeah, watch yeah, the weight yeah. transfer. But yeah. yeah. Um, so yeah, I had to do that. And then uh, luckily they thought, yeah, this guy's not too shabby. So yeah, they called me in, and then, yeah, here we are. Fantastic. And what? Chris Evans leaving? Did you kind of... Yes. Yeah. Oh. Um, yeah, it's a shame that he's left, Yeah, I think, because you never want to, I mean... Because he's a huge talent in TV. He's done everything in TV. So he's yeah. a huge talent, and it's sad to lose him. It is very sad. By the audiences and whatever, did it, what was it, you think, that people took a dislike? Of what he was doing. I think the main thing is that it's very difficult to follow in the footsteps of the, the, the established presenters yeah, that had yeah, gone yeah, on yeah, for, yeah, for, yeah, for yeah. you know decades before him. Yeah. I don't think anyone would have been able to come in straight away yeah. and been accepted. So he was kind of a scapegoat in a way, I think, in some ways. So um, I don't. He, I, I think he put on a very good performance. I think he was great on the show, yeah. but because he was the the figurehead of the show, anyone who was disgruntled about that show. Yeah. Would naturally, it was hard to follow and Jeremy said the whole thing with people. Steve Schmidt is on the carpet. Yeah, it's hard. It's tough. It's hard. Yeah, it takes it takes it takes a while to get used to new faces in um, an established position. But yeah, um, uh, for Chris's own personal reasons, he decided that he wasn't gonna. Uh, stick around any longer. And, Tell um, me about Sabine. How'd you get on with Sabine? She's going to be here tonight. I love Sabine. Sabine's great. Um, there she is. There she is. <laughs> Sabine, come round, come round, come round. You speak to you two together. Sabine, they've just, asked, they've, they've, asked, they've just asked what I think of you. I said I don't like you very much. Oh, well, he does like you very much. What? Great on top here. Fabulous. So how do you get in on the top here? I mean, we all know the stories about Chris Evans and everything else. But you, tell me about you. How you, how you liking the Top Gear? I think uh, it's great. My mom watches all the time. Mm -hmm. She's very happy, and that's the main thing. My mm -hmm. mom, she's my director, and she says, "Great show. Please I love don't all crash. the presenters." Change your jeans. Do uh, this. she gets used no. to crash. So don't worry about that. <laughs> <laughs> Good, we are a good team, isn't it? We Absolutely. have so much fun. Yeah. Yeah. Oh Definitely. man, and when I had to, to go with you in the, in the I, I drove GT. Sabine, I drove Sabine oh, in a Mustang moly. and um, I think she was a bit scared. She was a bit scared. <laughs> you look, you oh, look worried, you look worried. You say he's good. Never, ever. You say he's good. But you're the queen. Come on. No, so he's really good. And you're thinking, oh, I can do that, I can do that. Oh, what? Did he really impress me? I'm the queen look of at me. the look at me. Ring, and he's the king look of Look into my eyes. <laughs> uh, I can't, you have one. Yes. Can't look see your eyes. Uh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, so it's... were you really impressed? Yes. Yes, yeah, good car control, but he didn't switch the traction control off completely because we didn't know how it works. <laughs> right? right? Otherwise, uh, the, we would have done even more sideways. Yeah, yeah, we yeah. accelerate yeah. and brake for the different feet. Always. I don't. I don't use the same foot to brake okay. and accelerate. Yeah, but even on the road, you got to practice. You got to practice every day. Yeah. 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 You have a car with a stick then. Yes, yeah, automatically. That's what I do. Left foot always on the brain. Yeah, like right a go-kart. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like a car. Oh, fabulous, guys, and great success. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Thank you so right, much. Best, Enjoy you. your evening. Thank, thank you. you. Thank nice you. Meet you. Pleasure to meet you. Thank you. Sabine, also. Thank Bye. you very much. How are you? Sabine. Ladies and gentlemen, David Bramble and his Bramble. Grand Prix racing for two years because they won the championship twice. That's quite a thing. Is your dad found this 
Australian engine they put in an Australian racing car. Nobody ever heard of Repco. What were they making generators or something? They weren't any racing car people, were they? Well, they were car parts. Uh, but uh, yeah, Dad went over to America to, to find a block and uh, took it over to Australia and went to Repco and said, build me a championship winning uh, three liter engine because obviously it was the new regulations for 66. So a bit more horsepower, which I think everybody was happy with at the time. And uh, an incredible story for for the history really because to win two world championships racing against Ferrari and Lotus uh, and obviously my father built a lot of race cars so they were the biggest racing car manufacturer in the 60s as well. Now this is a BT11 did you say? It's a BT11 stroke 19. Gets complicated. <laughs>